It's my phone. Sorry. <laughs> so, I was gonna say this is a great. This is the start to a great answer. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Brad Giori. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to talk this way through the whole interview. What did you do before coming to Tribeca? Um, starting with childbirth and... Well, I mean, youth. we all know you were born. Puberty. I took the Metra. Okay, I, there was an interview. What you do is a teach-in, which is like a teaching audition. And you come in and a bunch of your uh, possible future colleagues and some students are watching you, how you conduct yourself doing a class. And so I did a teach-in where I had the students figure out how to come up with sort of like a pitch to me. And I walked them through that process for, for like a, for a video pitch. Yes. Um, before I taught, I, I, for 20 years I worked in Los Angeles in the television industry. How was that? Um, it was intense. It was like, you know, the best of times, the worst of times, like the old Charles Dickens sort of uh, saying goes. So I, I worked at different networks there. The, longest, the show I worked on for the longest was Talk Soup. I was the head writer of that for 10 years. Um, also worked at MTV, VH1, mm. uh, FX, HBO Online and kind of worked as a writer producer on different in different capacity. That experience was a lot about working either in the field shooting stuff like you guys are doing right now, also working in the studio as things were being shot, but then also writing scripts and working in the writer's room and running creative meetings. Then I decided to go back to school, get my doctorate, which is in rhetoric and composition. It has to do with the, the teaching style Mm -hmm. And um, the idea that we do things that are based, project based, project based learning where students actually get to, to create things and um, problem solve. Uh, a lot of times in uh, traditional sort of a lecture based approach, yeah. we talk to students about critical thinking and we use that word, but we don't actually find ways to get them to engage their critical thinking. Mm -hmm. So it's just something that they're supposed to sort of deliver to us somehow. We get an essay and it's supposed to exhibit critical thinking, but there aren't really situations where they get a chance to exercise that. Um, a situation where people have to figure something out and it's a complicated thing, like putting together uh, a web show mm -hmm. or putting together a film. There's so many different variables, so many moving parts, yeah. and it really requires people with diverse skill sets to get together and find out what they can bring to it in different ways, and it really involves, it's a much higher level of learning and understanding. Have you worked with a student on a project, like to help them with lighting or with the script? Well, I, you know, I got wrangled into doing some acting in a student film last semester, and, yeah. that, and that was kind of fun, and, and actually the semester before, which is, but I'm not really an actor, so that's not exactly my thing. It's kind of fun to do a little cameo like that. But what I really like doing even more is actually being on set. It's a little odd for the students. I mean, we did it last semester in the broadcast class. It's, we scheduled some of the shooting time to happen while during actual class time. Mm -hmm. And it's a little odd if you're directing something to have somebody looking over your shoulder and whispering occasionally and giving you a little bit of advice here and there. I was working with John Quigg and um, I think ultimately he really appreciated it because we were able to sort of problem solve things like there, here's a shot where everybody's sitting at a table now everybody's going to get up and leave the room mm -hmm. and for instance I said well let's get some coverage of them all closing their bags and things and then we can tighten up the pacing of it in the edit because we'll have all these insert shots. That's the type of thing that I learned from working mm -hmm. with people who are a little more experienced on set. They yeah. can help you sort of think in terms of how will this cut together later. I've learned a lot. Um, one of the things is, you know, when I was at ASU and I started doing those projects, I was kind of this uh, oddball there because everyone else was lecturing. Mm -hmm. And I was having to figure out how to do it myself and, uh, you know, trial and error. Some things worked, some things didn't. But one of the most difficult thing was the students had to get the hang of what I was doing. They liked it, but it was weird because it wasn't happening in any of their other classes. When you come to a place like this and everybody's doing it in all of the classes, it makes it a lot easier. Plus, these guys have been doing it for a long time. And one of the nice things is because they built this place from the ground up, they started with a clean slate, yeah. they were able to really design a whole school around that. So it's like mm -hmm. right in the DNA of the school. 
Well, the, I think one of the biggest highlights, I got a chance to act with Dustin Hoffman on camera, which was mm -hmm. really amazing. And we had a role for somebody to play a doctor that was going to come in. And this was actually an idea that Dustin Hoffman or one of his people came up with where, you know those def defib paddles? Yeah, defibrillators. Yeah, he said something about like they wanted them to, he had this like, joke of like to torture the host, mm -hmm. John, that we have a doctor come in and shock his balls with <laughs> yeah, yeah, defib yeah. paddles. Yeah. So we needed somebody to play that doctor and the surgeon's outfit we got, one of the, one of the stage guys, one of the crew guys was gonna do it, but it was too, too small for him. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it fit me, and I was like, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> so that's how I wound up in the scene, instead of just sort of on the sides guiding things. And what I'm gonna shock the host's balls. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good, Put yeah, that in, take that out of context. I got that out of the story. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. Uh, sure. That just helps. Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> this has been very, very fun. This is the most I've ever talked to you. <laughs> um, and uh, do you have any parting words? Uh, this has been fun as well. I, I enjoyed it, thanks. All right, super. Thank you very much.